Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and welcome, 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 mom, 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 mom. Sorry, my voice is a little crackly today. Um, I just ate a butterscotch candy, and it's in the back of my throat. But welcome back to another episode of the Piney Acres Logging, Mining, and Farming Series. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so how's that? how's everybody doing today? Are you guys doing good? Are you doing great? Or are you doing fantastic like your boy Fury, as usual? Ah, let's get into this. Let's cut some more trees. We got to continue filling this. We have 2 million 11 thousand. Yeah, 2 million liters of wood chips in our factory. We got to get that to 10. But we also got to make some money and we... Where we left off, everybody, is we were building our factory area out. And I think I've decided I'm not going to put the orchard in here. I'm going to put the composter down there. And I think I'm going to put, or the BGA. I'm going to put the BGA down here, the mini one. And the, what do you call that there? The BGA and then the composter up here. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm going to do. All right. <laughs> so let's get busy so that we can keep going. Uh, as you can see, this is a Sunday night. I am recording this for Tuesday because tomorrow is uh, my brother's first, my brother and I's first episode on our new series. So how are you guys doing? Everybody's going good. I had planned on talking about a few things tonight and i thought to myself i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna continue to be me i'm gonna let a lot of stuff um go that were you know things that were issues and things and i don't care i don't care i don't care what people do and what people say and what people carry on with i had a bunch of stuff and i was like i was planning on coming on here and talking about it and you know what i am going to be the positive guy and I'm going to give you guys the best outlook you can and I'm going to be happy about it and just like Fury always is so there's just going a few things going around the community that I hope gets fixed very soon we are all part of the same community we're all part of the same family and it's just gotten bad it's just all and I'm not going to go into it because I don't want to lose the positivity I don't want to lose the the what we have here is a channel um uh and that's all there is to it all i know is let's let's fix it let's just stop with all of the nonsense and go on and move forward um i found out that this um brooks doesn't go very well on this watch what it does when i come in here and watch so it shakes uh this is a mod the snoo holland is a mod that is the piney acres edit of a thing i don't know what they did to it um because i know for a fact that it's not the brooks because my brooks doesn't do this with any other tractor i do believe it's because it's small and the brooks literally if you look is going underground because i think this tractor is too small so when we make our money what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade that to a bigger version um we'll still try to keep it where we need to but let's go let's go let's go <laughs> um but welcome in everybody i hope you guys enjoyed the two brothers series um and i hope you guys are enjoying this uh we're back we're doing what we need to do to be happy and and go forward um i let you know i had a wonderful wonderful conversation with my mom today and you know when i guess when you get to be 90 you you start to change your outlook on life <laughs> so uh she gave me some great advice today and um you know i was spending a lot of time in my personal time worrying about a lot of things that were going on um and i just think it's a bad thing for me it's a bad bad thing i think i just need to move on and continue to make my channel the greatest that i can um and create my own personal community for you guys to come in here and feel safe and feel warm and feel welcome and enjoy my videos and there's so many people out there that are putting out great stuff um i don't want to lasso 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 yeah lasso everybody in the same thing but there are some some 
little baby games going on, and I just want them to stop. That's all. So I won't feed into it. I won't go into it as far as contributing to it. My channel is going to stay the way my channel is because if I come on here and I rant and I rave and I rant, then it gives my channel and gives myself a bad name, and that's not fun. That's not friendly. We're a family fun channel here, and I that would just be the worst thing I could ever do for this channel. So let people do what they want. People will find out on their own how it really is, and that's all there is to it. That's all I can do is keep telling people the truth and keep telling people what I want them to know. You know, and that's it. But the one thing that I can promise you is I'm not going to badmouth people. Not in my not on my channel. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk politics. I'm not going to curse. Just like my brother and all my brother and I do. We don't. We just have fun. That's what we're here to do. We are. I'm leaning to going back to 100 percent realism again. Um, I just wanted to get this series going. And get some farm work on it. But I do have some series planned. I don't know how long this series will go. Um, but every one of my series. Um, I had a wonderful message today that uh, someone said, Oh, I thought you were going to do a series on Blackwater Bottoms. I was. I had every intention to it. Um, but I got busy. And I think that the reason I changed it, if you guys want an honest opinion, is because everybody's doing Let's Plays and, and things like that on it. So I was like, nah. Let's do something different. And I looked around and I didn't see too many people doing Let's Plays on this one. So I said, perfect. Let's work our way back towards the shop. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to get this out. But I think my brother and I are already on the realism part of it. Um, and I think that we're in the right direction. He is super on board with it. So I think what's going to happen, and, and it, I think... You know, it's so funny because I've built a following. <laughs> I've built a following with my sayings and my intro and, and being upbeat and up happy. And I'm going to go and probably change it. <laughs> so um, something that's going to relate to the channel and something's going to be fresh and new. And we can start a new saying that everybody says. <laughs> let's, let's work on it. Let's work on each other and, you know... I just think I've reached an age in my life where I'm done. I don't, like, I'm not done. And I want people to understand, like, I'm not done with Farm Sim. Farm Sim's a great community, for real. I haven't lost my smile. I haven't been upset. You know, I'm not here. I'm, I wasn't put here as a, as a content creator to make other people's lives miserable. That's not my job. My job is to make my viewers happy. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on issues and wasting valuable recording time on rants and things like that because that lowers my channel it lowers me it lowers the viewers down it makes you guys upset makes you guys not want to watch it so let's just let it go and move on and move into a situation where we can be positive and the channels that i support i have dropped a lot of channels just so everybody's aware um not unsubbed i've never unsubbed to anybody so just so you guys know um, I've never thrown a dislike. There are there are times when I don't throw a like, maybe because I'm busy or I'm tired, but for the most part, I do. Um, but I'm just going to continue to, to uh, uh, push the positivity. Um, I'm not going to be here pushing any of that hashtag stuff because if we don't know it by now that we need to protect our own, we don't need to continually push hashtags. We know it. We know what's going on. We see what's happening. We see how things are working, and we want to protect our own, and we get it. I understand that. Um, but let's just not fool ourselves. Let's not fool ourselves and do that. Let's, let's be a little more realistic about it, that if we can't see without the help of others saying it, if we can't see we have the greatest community out there, every community on the planet is going to have the bad apples. We all know that. We all know it. Every community out there in, in the communities you live in, you have that one neighbor where you're like, oh, but you could take the time and you could ruin your life with it and be miserable about it. Or you could move on and just affect your own life. And that's what I want to do here on my channel. Um, I have some really good friends that I converse with outside of um, Farm Sim behind the scenes. And what we talk about is what we talk about. And that's our business. No one else's. 
and that's fine. What my brother and I talk about is our business and no one else's. That's fine. Um, but it won't be brought up on my channel. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. So, you know, I just want to promote the positivity. I'm not going to come on here and play that kind of game. We're, we're past that. We're grown people here. And for those of you... <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> cough, everybody. I still got that little baby little... It's It's been a couple, two, three months now. And I still get that every once in a while. That, <coughs> you know... And then I'm fine for two, three, four hours. And um, I try to get it out of the way before we go on camera. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't want to be like coughing your ears off and have you guys have to like blast your volume. Um, but, uh, you know, I just want to I want to be a bigger person and keep my channel as fun and friendly as I can. And other channels are doing the same thing. And I applaud them for that. Um, you know, I just... You have to respect a, a person that comes in and says, listen, I'm not going to allow cursing and I'm not going to allow swearing and I'm not going to allow, I want to be a family friend channel and I'm not going to allow people to come in and talk, you know, naughty stuff in my streams. And you have to respect that. And I respect people who allow it because if they want to allow it in their stream, that's their business. You guys are all grown people. You can have any stream the way you want it, any recording the way you want it. I don't watch Farm Sim for the sake of watching Farm Sim. I watch Farm Sim because I like the people. I like the community. I like to support the community. But truthful, you know, we don't have to go around and putting hashtags on stuff and to continue to promote our, our stuff. We just need to promote it. Just do it. That's going to gain a lot more than putting a bunch of hashtags on it. And <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. You know what I mean? And I hope you guys are adult enough to understand that um, and see that I noticed that a lot of... Um, that stuff going around, and it's great. Hey, you guys, like I said, you guys do you, and I'll do me, and we'll meet in the middle somewhere. There's a place for all of us. But what I won't do is I won't go on and, and badmouth somebody on their stream or badmouth somebody else. Their stream is supposed to be their their time. You're supposed to be going on and watching them and spending time with them, and you know what I mean? It's, yeah, let's just go, and we'll move on from that. Let's just, let's go to something else like num, 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 trees. <laughs> Uh, we got one million liters. All right, this stuff. Isn't it crazy how fast this is? And I'm so flattered that other people are taking my ideas and using them. It makes it's you know that makes me happy that actually somebody else is saying, "Hey, that works pretty good. Let me use it." I picked on the person. I was I made a joke about it. It was funny, and he. I hope he took it as a joke because it was completely 150 percent a joke. <laughs> it really was. Um. Uh. And that was it, you know. I just wanna, I just wanna promote positivity, and I wanna be the channel that I've always dreamed about, which is the realistic channel. I never will be one of these uh, streamers, or I'm not a streamer, uh, one of these recording guys that come on and go. I'm not gonna be that. I'm gonna be upbeat. I'm gonna be talking fast. I'm gonna be making jokes. They may be simple dad jokes, but that's okay. But it won't offend people, and it won't be. I don't care if you've got a disability. I don't care what color, what political affiliation you are. Come watch. Come one, come all. But keep your comments to yourself. If they're bad, it's kind of like, you know, you know, like your mom or your teacher said. You know, if you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. <laughs> That's all what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to continue to promote. You know, I'm not. I, I just want to promote people to be happy and relaxed and um just have a good time. I want you guys to come and let's head down. Let's go to back down towards our farm and start clearing this way. I'm trying to get this out because I want to get our first field and I'm really pushing it. <coughs> I'm really pushing it. You know, we're getting two and three, four hundred trees going all at once. It's exciting to start seeing these trees being num dummed up. Uh, that's what I call it. Every time I play this game with the Brooks, um, it is the farthest thing from realism that you could imagine. Uh, as far as farm sim, now it is a real piece of equipment. Let's let's look at reality. It is, it is, but it doesn't do this. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just doesn't. Uh, it doesn't work like the way it's working. Man, I had the most awesome tacos today. Then I had Italian wedding soup today with grilled cheese. Oh man, Ooh, your boy Fury's tummy is full, 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 full. My dog jumped off the, the couch and it was like thump. I was like, what the heck? 
It's crazy. But I just think I just think that we are spending too much time as as a a family worrying about what other people do. And we just need to go forward. That's all there is to it. We just need to work our way out of it. And it will, just like with any family, it all work out in the end. Um, it's like I messaged a, a, a person before that was before I actually, like, left certain things and done certain things. I said to the person, listen, you know, uh, it w it'll work itself out. It'll all come back in the end. And just um, Fury needs time right now. That's all. And that's all there is to it. And it'll start to work its way out. And it will it always does. Every family has the one or two people that are always the problem childs. And we all have to deal with them. Everybody's got a family that's the same way. So it'll all work out, guys. But I want to make sure we're positive. I had this. I was going to do this big speech today. And I thought, nope, nope. I'm not going to lower myself to it. And I'm not going to do it. Um, so... We're gonna we're gonna be each other's best keeper. How's that going? I was beyond blessed to have and be presented with my brother, um, Gutterball, and um, without him, my channel would be absolutely nothing. Uh, without a couple of my friends outside of um, they're they're farm sim community people, but they're they're not actual what I would they're they're family. They're they're still part of my inner family. But they're not like, um, they're still farm sim people, if you know what I mean. And then I have my farm sim people that are my family, that I call family. And they're the ones that I message daily and I talk daily with. And we joke and we laugh around. And uh, sometimes we pick on streamers because some, some of you guys, this is why I'm so glad that I never put a face cam on. Because some of you guys are the most precious, awesome people with your facial expressions when you're trying to read chat and stuff it's great so i do pick on people you know outside of farm sim i do but i also pick on you to your face too so there's no backstabbing there's nothing like that going on um so i think that is a good place to move on from that subject and start talking about farm sim again i think i have to catch myself my brother has really opened my eyes to the fact that I can't, I used to in the past get really, really wound up and I used to just get really angry and stuff and, and he's really changed me to the fact to see life for what it is and be extremely grateful for what I do have. I have a lot of people that come and watch my videos every day and like we talked about last night in our recording, you know, we are never going to say never totally about live streaming, but right now it's not good for our channel. <coughs> Sorry, again. Um, and there may come a time down the road that we may look at each other and say, let's do it again. We know how to do it now. I've made it through the ringer as far as learning how to do it. Um, but it won't be a regular thing. It may be like a special occasion type thing. Uh, maybe a birthday stream or, you know what I mean? Something. We'll plan on something. But for right now, this is my calling. I enjoy giving videos. I enjoy um, kind of talking with you guys. It makes me feel like you guys are coming into my living room. Okay, now that I said that, we are a family fun channel, so family friendly channel. But I'm allowing it this one time. This one time. Go ahead and say your dad jokes right now under your breath. Don't put them in the comments, but go ahead and say your dad jokes and say what you got to say. Because you guys come into my living room every night, so... Ready and go. All right. Now that you guys got that out of your way, let's go back to protecting it. And the only reason I do that and say that, guys, is because we do have little ones that watch the channel. And, and we do have little ones. And I don't just mean my grandkids. I mean, there's little ones out there. Literally, uh, I had somebody message me yesterday. It was the cutest little thing. Um, and I told him. I couldn't remember his name, though. Once I got recording, I was like, oh, no, I can't remember his name. I do want to give him a little shout out. He's six years old. And he plays he plays Farm Sim Mobile on his phone, um, and he messaged or like didn't message me, but uh, what was it? Oh, friend requested me on Steam. He sent me a friend request, and I I went and I checked out his little channel. He's got like two subs, and 
He's six years old. He's six. But he said to me, he said, my mom and my dad let people let me watch your channel. I can watch your channel without having to worry. And I thought, that's, oh, jeez. We got to, um, we're, we're done. We're wasting wood chips here. Let's go and do Mr. 4B's trick. Remember, I learned this from 4B, and he learned it from Steggy Poo. Or Steggy, yeah, Steggy Poo Farms. Uh, 4B learned it from Steggy Poo, and I learned it from 4B. <laughs> so it's a vicious cycle, but we're all learning from each other. There's still times that um, I think it's this one. There we go. Let's see how many we just got done. 148 already. <laughs> um, I just thought that was the cutest thing. And so I looked at his channel and he's and he, you hear a little talking in the background. He's playing mobile and he's recording it on his phone. And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. He's got this little cute kid voice and it's it's awesome. So I told him that I was going to give him a shout out in the stream. In the, I keep calling him stream, guys. God, stop it. <laughs> um, I told him I was going to give him a shout out. And he was all excited. He said he would watch and he would pay attention, but I forgot his name. <laughs> I hope his mom and dad that are watching understand that, you know, I didn't do it on purpose. I'll get him next time. All right. So this will be now we're up to four million. Now, is that a realistic amount? No. The only reason that I upped it. Uh, the capacity on it was because I didn't want to keep coming back to it. I want to st I want to have it like I told you guys I think in episode one. Okay, so this thing here is going to make planks, okay, and it's going to make wood chips. No, it's going to make planks. We're going to take the planks from here. We're going to run them down there with that thing right there, and we're going to put our planks in here. This is going to make barrels. This is a modded one. This is going to make barrels and wood chips. We are then going to take the wood chips from here and put them back in here. So it will be a never-ending cycle of wood chips to planks to barrels to wood chips to planks to barrels. And it's going to be great. But then what we're going to do is we're going to sell the barrels. That's how we're going to make money. So these two factories right here will be completely self-sufficient. Uh, this shed is going bye-bye. Uh, I'm putting my fence out here. I wanted to leave enough room after I got thinking about it. Remember how I said at the end of the last recording, I said, well, let's move everything back. No, what I will do is I'm going to put my fence up where it belongs. Okay. Uh, here, I wanted the space to be able to add other factories if I wanted, or maybe possibly a bunker silo or something in here to make like what we need. You know what I mean? So. That's why I made it extra wide now that I got thinking about it. At the end of the stream, I'm like, ah, because what happens is this this carpentry factory, when you look at it from back here, it looks kind of weird with all of the um, space that there are. But think about this. If I'm coming in here with a semi load of, of trees or wood chips, I can drive around and not have to worry about hitting anything. We still have plenty of room and we can always expand it. So and then... What I'm going to do, let me get this, let me bring this up. That's easier. Okay, so here's our factory section where my little blinking character is. This section right here is what we've been working on. Once I even this out right here, then this will be our very first field. Okay, that's going to be our field. Then once our field is in the ground, then we're going to start working our way this way. And down in this section down here or here, whatever, we'll decide as we go, is I'm going to terraform this. And I'm going to make it my farm down here in the corner. See? And I don't think there's a... Okay. So, oh, the animal dealer is at the shop. Okay, good. So we can buy our animals. It's only a sell point. It's not like an actual factory. Um, but we can put a shed up there to like make it look like it. Then we'll bring our animals down here. And we'll make a road that goes from here around our factory straight to our farm. Now, the next field, this first field here, this is what I got planned for, right here to here to here. That's going to be our first field. Second field will be from this road, right along the road, even here to the edge. That'll be our next field. Now, if it ends up being 40, 50 acres, we will we'll cut that up. I don't want anything more than I think maybe 10 acres is the biggest field I want. I want to try to use a little bit more realistic equipment, even though 
I have to have a disclaimer. Even though the big equipment is uh, realistic, they do have 10, 12, 14, 20 meter equipment, but you need such high horsepower to drag it. You can't just drag it with a big regular. So I think we're going to go nine meters is be the, be the, big, the biggest we are going to go. Um, nine or 12. I'll figure the tw I think 12 would give us a little more leeway. Still a decent sized piece of equipment. Um, but I'll give you an idea while this is still emptying. Uh, this is going to be the second field. So I'll come over here. I got an archway downloaded. We'll do that some other time. I'm going to have to put gates in all of them. So they have gates on all the way around. Our road is going to continue outside here. Right there. This is the next field that's going to go over here. See? All the way over here. It's going to be decent size, actually. Uh, now that I'm running it. See what I mean? And then as we get closer, there's a little bit of hill here that we can either keep the hill or we can terraform it off and go right to the edge. I think we'll have to start down here uh, and flatten it going that way. But I don't. I want a little bit of hills. I do want it. You can go right to the edge of this map. So what we're going to do here, just like we did on the other map, we're going to put a fence and then some trees. But we'll put it, like, out far enough so that it kind of looks real. We probably will leave these hills in there. Yeah. As long as they're not, like, mounds. Like, on uh, Dark Forest has... Dark Forest is a great map, too. But it has some, like, just flat-out mounds in it. There's no, like, hills. Like, that section there, we could leave it. And you could technically for or, uh, uh, harvest on it. And it'll give you a little bit of a hill. Which is kind of cool. You know, like, we'll terraform it. We'll smooth it. We'll smooth it out so it's not so, like a hill but it'll make it like a gradual hill we can actually use that yeah um but that was the only downfall with dark forest is it had like right in the middle there'd be like a, this giant like mound it looked like someone buried a tennis ball <laughs> underground <laughs> um but he did a great map so i have to give him credit um and then we are going to put gates on this side right in through here uh, so that we have a gate here, a gate there, a gate down there, and a gate here. So that we can get through on any side of our field. We'll put uh, lighted lights next to it so that we know where the gate is. It'll be off the road. We'll have it all figured out. But thank you guys for coming. I mean, I still got another half hour. So we're going to be, we're going to try to get some more trees. We're going to keep working our way that way. Um, I had a couple of messages today saying, hey, why don't you play ahead? Nope. I decided I'm never, ever, ever going to do that again on any Let's Play. I'm visually, immensely against it. I don't think it's something that I believe in. So I, if you don't believe in it, you can't do it. So you can see this is where the edge of the field was last time because I missed the tough. That's how much we extended this little section by. So, And then we will have a shed down here for our equipment. We will have a specific tractor or forklifter or skid steer skid loader we'll have a specific um piece of equipment down here that we can use with a wagon that's going to go in here that we can transport transport like wood chips and stuff back and forth so let's see 25 percent. let's get in here let's let him finish up Oh, so the, anyways, this should be, yeah, we're getting 4 million liters now. Um, like I said, it's this is the only unrealist part, that and the way the Brooks is set up. Uh, but everything else, guys and gals, as soon as we get farming, will be realistic. And we're going to do bales and we're going to load them up. Um, now, our composter can take grass, so we can make grass bales. I think it takes grass and hay, too, I think. So we can make hay for our animals. And literally uh, make compost out of it. I do believe. Let me make sure here. Uh, this is my mini BGA. That's going to go in here. Uh, oh, that's the methane pipe. That's got to go in because we're going to... The methane... The reason this is this planet one here... I got this off the in-game mod hub. The B, it's, this is the BGA that's going to make methane and you can sell it. Okay. Let's see what this takes. Yes. Uh, it takes wood chips, manure, grass. Yeah, wood chips, manure, straw, and grass, not hay. And it will give you compost. And then this map is already compost ready. So if you use a composter, you can spread this. We don't have to rely on our animals to give us manure. Yeah, see? 
right here. We're going to put that right down here. Um, <coughs> sorry. And with enough room to drive around it, like we're going to put it like this. Because that would be more, more advantageous to us. So we have enough room to drive in and out with a semi. And then over here, we're going to put uh, this. Okay. And it's going to go right here. Okay. Like, let me get it up here in the air. Right in the air. It's going to go right, like, right here. So we got, actually, it might come closer. Like that. So we have enough room. There's your little methane sail down here. See it? Let me get it up a little bit so you can see it. That's your, where you buy your methane. And we it comes with trailers. And it's a pretty cool pack. Um, This won't fit down here, right? Yeah, we're going to have to keep it up here. But I may move this one over so that I can bring and put the BGA here. I don't know. That's still enough room right there. That's still enough room. And I just want to come out with it so we can drive our trucks around and grab stuff and get in and out with that. See, that still gives us enough space to get in and out of there with a truck. And then you load your silage, manure. And I think it takes wood chips as well. I think it does. I think it does. I think it does. Let's make sure. Uh, no. It takes whatever this thing is. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get it. But then it makes this. We can actually sell the methane at the... It has a sell point that comes with it, which is kind of cool. You can't do that normally. Um, I think we're done. All right. So we're going to unhook this. And let's go chip up some more trees. Um, yeah. That's it. We got a lot planned. We got a lot going on. Um, it's exciting. That's why I'm going to stay on this long enough to get going on some farming. And then I may alternate this uh, with other Let's Plays uh, where we're just farming. You know? That's exciting. I'm excited. And we're going to keep this. We're going to make it as quick. We're almost to the store. That's how nice this piece of equipment is. All right. So we are at... Uh, 548, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. We have to go 52 trees. So we'll clear this out here so that we can be back to our um thing so we can make a road through here. And I'm not going to have any fields that are even. It's not going to be a bunch of square fields. These are going to be kind of like oblong and it's going to be kind of like more like realistic fields. But there are square fields out there in real life, so that can't that's not a very good accurate statement, Fury, to say. There are some square fields out there in real life. So I feel at ease though, guys. I really do. I feel at ease that we as a it, it, we as a community have to be better and have to let stuff go. We have to. Um and move on. You know, uh, the way I look at it is support who you want to support. Uh, if you're running a channel, as I told a really good friend of mine, run it your channel. Run it the way you want to run it. And the people that want to come and see it will come and see it. Don't worry about what anybody else says. Don't worry about what other streamers are saying about you. Don't worry about nothing. I have pretty much the ones that I have issues with, and I, have, I love everybody. But the ones that I have issues with, I just don't watch them anymore. It takes the pressure off of them. It takes, they can be themselves. They don't have to worry about whether I'm watching them or not or anything like that. I just move on. It's easier. I'm grown. They're grown. We can move on. We can be, we can agree to disagree. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. We can agree to disagree. Um, and we'll just be us. Be who you are on your channel and let the people in that you want to let in. And, and that's the most perfect way to handle everything we have to um just like everything that's going on in the real world you know it's it's like my mom said like she said she had she had a wonderful conversation with me today and you know, like she said you know you could be at a grocery store and somebody will do something in the grocery store and you can allow it to ruin your whole day your whole week your whole month or you can move on and and just continue to be you all right so now i'm going to raise this uh, and go clear that because I do want to take a few minutes and get our fence finished. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, around our. Gotta thank Mr. 4B for this. Thank you. 
<laughs> uh, we're also at 66. All right. And then I'm going to build a road through here. And we are going to make it so that it comes right up straight through here. And then it comes down through here and is straight. Uh, we can we can judge it as we go. I do want to get my fence done around my farm. though. Around, it's not my farm. My factory. Let's get it right. Let's get it right, Fury. Uh, let's go down here so that we don't get any blockage. Because what happens is, is when you try to build a fence, you guys all know we've done fences. Um, that if you have anything within a 10-foot radius, it will say, collides with another object. Even if you have Place Anywhere mod on, it still does it. Because I have the Place Anywhere mod in it. It will, it will say it. So I'm going to get myself enough space here. Um... You know what? Should we put gates in it? Or should we just put, like, a front and a back? Yeah. That way we don't have to play the game of putting gates in it. See, what I like about... This is what I like the most about Farm Sim. Is, you see how I just did that on the fly? It's like you make decisions and you say, Nah, I don't like that. Let's do something different. And it just makes it great. Makes it great. So... You just kind of go on the fly, but what I am going to really work hard on <laughs> is once it's built, I'm going to kind of leave it because it's been too easy for me to just change everything. Oh, man, I'm so excited because we got my brother and I decided that we're going to do every animal on our series. And it's great because I've never done all the animals all at the same time. So you're going to have to play it, plan ahead quite a bit um, to what you need. You know what I mean? So, it's exciting. Like, I'm going to do cows on this map. Um, I've got a couple of really cool cow pens that we are going to go into. We're going to teach uh, some stuff about that sort of thing. But, like I said, uh, the next series that's going to come will be a realistic farming channel. And I'm probably going to do both um, at the same time. Because uh, I really like this. This is a relaxing uh, series because... Cutting trees is mind-numbing, especially with this Brux. I don't have to worry about nothing. I just run into the tree and go to the next one. I can talk away, and I can go as fast as I want and cut them down as fast as I want. And that sort of thing. Nice. Now, what are we at here? 86. I try to leave, I try to end up on a even amount, if you know what I mean. So that it... I just, I don't know why. Maybe it's an OCD thing of mine. <laughs> just crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Ooh, that's the longest that, uh, that's the longest that I've ever been quiet on a video. I hope we get to 50. I hope after watching that video, Gutterball gets 50s. 50 hashtag gutter balls um because i can't wait to see him he was so blown away you guys should have heard him after the recording he's like is that something that was planned or did you just wing it i said no it was planned um i was just i wanted to surprise him with it because you know the poor guy has just done everything for my channel he supported me he watches all of the uh ads he just does it all <laughs> um I don't even watch the full ad on my own station, and he watches every minute, every second of it, um, and I love it. You know, he watches everything I put out, and he he critiques me on the same token, so we have to be realistic about that. He does, um, and he does tell me what for, and that's what makes it awesome. Uh, oh, four more. Let's just go ahead and get our four more trees out of the way real quick, and then... We can shut this down and build our fence. Okay, three. Two. And... One. There we go. Whoops. Oh, one more. <laughs> Let's get that lonely scraggler out there. See him? He's begging me. Cut me down. Cut me down. <laughs> And see that way we whoops that way we end up with the even six hundred. 
put this up here. And I like I said, I think I'll put a gate here. Uh, I'm going to put one in the more in the middle. Let's park him out here. Oh, actually, you know what? Nope. He's got to go back in the shed. <laughs> you guys are really liking the series. I've been taking a lot more time off to relax and be with my family. Like I said, guys, I'm retired. Um, and I just want to kind of relax. There, see, he's in here now. We'll get him next to his big little baby brother there. This is a great looking shed. This is off the uh, St. Cali old old stuff you got to have for that map. And it's great because it's, it's just a nice little mod. Okay, so F11. Mr. 4B, thank you very much. Shebang. But don't come up here. Make sure this is highlighted because if you hit uh, this one, if you've got any trees cut on the ground, it will remove them. <laughs> I've done that. Like, I went through and I cut down a whole bunch of trees. And I was coming here going quick trying to get the stumps. And I went and I clicked this. And it removed all the, the logs that I cut. I was like, ah! <laughs> That's crazy. I was like, no! No! Oh, yeah. Here you go. You guys didn't get to see this. Look at this. This I'm going to get. I'm gonna show this off to this. Is this the crooked creek modding i got this from a, a really 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 good friend of mine that played on multiplayer uh fridays with us cc he's the one that got these for me um so i have to give him a shout out there's these crooked creek modding uh sheds they are amazing they're huge they come with worksheet shops in them one's got a this one here the new one no wait yeah this one's a garage this one's got an office with it but they are huge watch this watch how big this is it's huge okay and then this one. This one's only 2000 but this is a garage. This is meant to be put next to a house. See what I mean? It actually comes with it. Um, and then there's... I'll show you what comes with it. Look at this. Look at it. It's got a, uh, a calf barn with it. See? So this is what's called a calf barn. It's realistic. Uh, I got these from uh, Big Sky. He's the one that uh, turned me on to them. Um, yeah. So, I give out shout-outs when I can. Uh, it's here. Fence. 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 And we will click here. Click. And we will go here. And we'll go... Now, I did find this out the hard way, everybody. If you're doing a negative challenge, uh, like Fury tried to do, um, just be careful because it won't let, let you even buy a... Um, let's see. Yeah, it's about right. It won't even let you buy free fences. Uh, and then we're going to put the gate in right here. Get down here so I can actually shoot. And we'll go like this. Like that. Um, Let's go like right there. Bang. And then we'll get off that and we'll go to shebang again here and shebang and then we'll come down here now look at that now what would I will do is open it so that I know it's there so I can build some other stuff around it and this sort of thing there so we can come out let's go down here and build this one down here. I was going to do an archway, but let's just do a gate, per se, down here. Right across the road. So, let's go here, here. And migration and fence. Uh, actually, you know what? I do like the idea of this being more like an open. But, oh man, does anybody know out there of... Does anybody know... Remember the... There was... I saw it. There was something that... Um, 
I think I can get through there. What's that look like, guys? Should I make this one go away? I think I should. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So we can come in. Uh, there was the... One of the packs out there had, uh, like, a, a big, like, drawbridge pole that goes across, and it's automated. That's what we need to put there. Kind of, like, connect it. But for now, we can uh, connect like this. Um, should I put the gate in first? Let's put the gate in first. Um... Is there a double gate? Can you do two gates? I don't know. I'm not quite sure how these gates work. I usually don't use them. Let's, uh... Um... Do you have to have it connected? Yeah, is there a... Is there a double gate? I don't think so. So I think we're going to have to come across like that and then put our fence in and change our road. That's what I think is going to have to happen. Let's see how that looks. It's not like we don't we can't change it. You know what I mean? So let's go here with this. We will demolish the gate and we will put our gated community right here. Right in the middle of that, like that. Yeah, that way it's in the middle. Yeah, something like that. And then we will continue to drag this there. Let's see how that looks. Um, one more over. Yeah, okay. It's got to be connected to that one, right? Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. We're going to fix it right on camera here. We're going to get rid of this, that, and we're going to connect the... Gate? Is this a gate? It's a gate. This is double one. Let's connect it right here. Bring it over. And we'll put it right like that. And then we'll connect this, that, that. There. There, 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 there. How's that look, everybody? Sweetness. So when you come down, you're going to drive. And the gate will be like right there. Perfect. So we'll open that. So it's inviting. We can close that. And we can now put uh, decoration. Let's go lights. Uh, what do we want? Do we want these ones? Or do we want these ones? Um, is the road's going to go there. Remember what we talked about that. The road's going to come and it's going to turn and go like right here. It's going to go here. So let's do that first. Let's go landscaping, uh, painting, and we're going to go dirt. And a mud. Nope. Let's dirt. Let's go like this and we'll keep our little edge. And we'll go Okay. There, we'll go a little bit wider on that, and then what we'll do is we'll put uh put this in here like this. like a little road and then we'll we'll 
make this a little bit smaller over here. So that's that. And then we will paint and paint this off here and get this like curved straight. The only reason I'm doing this little baby road right here. Is because now I can put. Uh, lights. Let's go. Yeah, let's go these. They look a little more rustic. There we go. Got our first thing. So you're gonna that'll light up the entranceway. I don't want lights around it. I just want to light up the entranceway. Now we got our, our road started here. And we'll start our road this way real quick. And then we'll finish this up. Uh, landscaping, painting. Oh, whoops, painting. Dirt. And I want to go... About that size. And I want to keep it away from the edge there so that it's... That. Like that. I always like to keep the green grass at the end because if you're driving on a road, um, it's not going to be ever straight up. It's never going to be straight. So uh, that's why I never worry about, unless it's like a road between two fields and then I use the square one. And we'll clear, because this would be all worn out here. Okay. Uh, I think I got to go just a little bit wider. Because I won't be able to make that corner. So we can do that. And then we're going to go plants. Plunk. And then we're going to go. And we're going to go right from here. We're going to whisper. And we're going to make it as uneven as we can. I'm doing that on purpose because roads are not perfect. Even, even man-made ones are not perfect. See, I'm, I'm purposely going there like that. And then if you see, now we got ourselves a road and it looks like it's used. Because the path on the outside, which this isn't very good dirt, by the way, but it is dirt, would be out. And then the middle would be totally not worn out. But you can see because you never drive in the same. Now, eventually what would happen is this grass would disappear and it would just be a dirt road. Uh, okay, so now that that's open and we know that works, let's put in our uh, lights over here. Uh, this one. And we'll spin it this way. We'll put her in the corner right there and right in the corner here so that we can see. There. Now we got a gate. Now, like I said, I'm going to have to make this a little bit wider here so that when I come up through, it's going to be you're going to have to take your tractor and swing out here so you can fit your trailer in there if you come this way. Which we might not. We'll see how it works. And then I will continue. We're going to wrap this up here. But then I'll continue my road around this way. Uh, so it has a road all the way around it. And then guess what? The next episode we can start plowing. We can buy a plow if we have the money. Uh, we might have to sell some wood chips to make some money. And we'll buy our plow. And we'll start plowing in our field and working that way. But no. We've got to buy a, uh, a mower first. Got to mow it. Yeah, we got to mow it first. And then we can keep going like... For example, let's mow this all the way to here. We'll take our road and we'll continue it around so that we have everything blocked in. And we'll go right up through there to where the road is. And then we'll start. We'll mow it and get our composter built. So I'm going to have to sell wood chips first. Yes, and this is going to be better. And I can fix this 
Uh, bring the grass out to here. In this. Um, yeah. It's, uh. Just a little bit more there. Uh, no. No, because that wouldn't be that way. You'd have it straight with this. Because that's where you're driving in and out of. There, that's how it would look. Much better. Much better, much better. Nice. Okay. And on that note, everybody, we're going to wrap it up. I think it's episode... Well, I can tell you. Three. Because we've done 200 trees each time. End of episode three. Already got 600 trees done. We got 4 million liters in there. Our fence is done around our property. Uh, we'll continue on our roads next episode, and we'll get some mowing going. So getting ready, everybody. It's going to happen. So please, please, please look out for yourself. Look out for each other's. And most importantly, look out for each other's family. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Hit the little notification ding, ding bell so you get notified when Fury and Gutterball drop a video. Uh, be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I'm going to add one more thing to start it. Please, please, please promote the positivity. Let's drop the negativity and see if we can make this community a better place. If you don't like somebody, don't watch them. Just move on and, and don't worry about what others are saying. Just make your communities and your channels as positive as you can. And that's all I'm going to say on that. And then we're going to keep being just as positive and happy and upbeat as we can. And on that note, I love, love, love you all, and I will catch you all on the flip side.